So June has just started and I found a new hobby. I'm into books guys. And the reason why I got interested in reading books is that since this semester started, I have to go to school more often. I usually take classes online, almost all the classes because it's easier for me. And that means I have to take trains more often. And the train um, takes about two and a half hours halfway. So that means if I had to go to school and, and go back to home, it takes at least five hours a day. And that's a huge amount of time, right? And when I'm on the train, I realized that I don't have much things to do on the plane because the options are so limited. I like to spend time alone a lot, but there's always people in the train, of course. I watch a lot of movies when I'm free, but I don't think I can enjoy watching movie on the, on the train because, because I get distracted and I start caring about other people watching me and listening to music for two and a half hours straight is not something that I can do. So I decided to buy books. Reading a book is perfect for spending time on train for a long time. And I did a research a little and I heard this book is a um, pretty good one because one of my favorite booktuber, Jack Edwards, recommended it. And he said that Emma Chamberlain, also my favorite YouTuber, likes this book. So I chose this one as my first book, but it was too difficult for me. Firstly, English is not my native language. And this was written in back in the forties and the vocabulary are too difficult and rich for me. And I can even read a page without looking up um, 10 words on the phone and I get distracted and I kind of gave up finishing it. So I started to thinking about other options and I found this book on TikTok and this seems really popular on TikTok. And I was like, yeah, this is it. And I'm at like page 39 now and yeah, I absolutely like it. It's so much easier to read because the vocabulary are relatively easy. I get the references and, and the real celebrities uh, appear here and there this book i haven't finished it yet but i like it it really makes me so comfortable so anyways that's a story i have i started reading books and i do my own research on my own too but i do want to hear your recommendations and if you have a recommendation please write down in the comments and I, and I gotta check it out, definitely. I wanna tell you my taste in movies for reference because if you don't know my taste, you can recommend anything. So I usually like movies that are calm and chill and uh, kind of boring, not boring. Like, yeah, one of my most favorite movies ever is Patterson 2016, I think. It's about this poet I don't know he's a poet, but he's a bus driver in the city of Patterson. As he interacts with people around him, he gets ideas and poems. And yeah, and this film is the reason, basically the reason I got into the poems. And one of my favorite TV shows is Atypical. Probably many people like this too. This is also chill vibe, right? So yeah, I'm not into like action movies or something, except Mar Marvel. I love Marvel, but other than that, I usually watch like calm, real life based, um, not that crazy kind of movies I like. And speaking of Patterson, this is a good segue to the next topic, which is poetry. Yeah, as well as I'm into books now, I've been into poetry too for a while me editing here by the way i also started writing my own poems so if you want to check it out i i'll put the link somewhere so you can click it so yeah enjoy the enjoy the rest of the video and one of my favorite poems in the movie is this one love poem i think i gotta look it up 
Yeah, love bone. Um, this is really beautiful. He's talking about this matchbox, but also his love for his wife and the way that he express his love is really like chill and beautiful I think and another favorite poem that I found recently is uh, this poem called You by Charles Bukowski and this poem is also about love and the way he writes down everything in detail it's so fascinating and it gives me a picture right? and the last line like what do you want for breakfast or something this is so romantic. Anyway, these are the kind of poems, movies that I like. Basically my taste. So based on my taste, please write some recommendation in poets, your favorite movies, and books, please. So that's it for today, I guess. See you in the next video.